Hey everybody, I want to do a walk around on the 345 John Deere garden tractor. Um, as you guys know, I did upgrade from the MTDs, got this thing. Um, like it a lot. Uh, it does have a mulch put on it and some kind of rubber like striping thing on there. Um, <laughs> it's got a tilt steering wheel, higher back seat, little markers back here. One of them's broke. I'll replace that one, I care. Um, in here, I did paint my little homemade tail bed. Why is there Vaseline in here? Because when there's a leak, you can use Vaseline to close it up. I learned that a long time ago. And that's why it's here, because we were having a leak issue on the, the bowl. Um, but it kind of stopped, and I have some of that liquid homemade gasket or whatever. RTV, yeah. So I may be using some of that. But 48-inch cut cuts well, but I do have to sharpen up the blades. Um, my first video on it, um, including the short, you can see that the hood is a lot less shinier. I used some polish wires polish I have to glue some of these letters down because I don't feel like buying a new sticker um but yeah this still does need some more polishing to be done so I'm gonna wash it again probably on Saturday or Sunday and do another polish on it but it is making major improvements um let's see under the hood under the hood, we have our electronics up here in the front. Bigger battery. This is a, does have a radiator, so that's your coolant. Then your fuel here, which I need, I think needs to be going back in here. So I don't really know why it hangs out like that. Never used to. I'll figure that out. Don't really know why it hangs out like that. Um, yeah, your coolant, your hydraulic fluid, your oil, oil filter. It's a 18 horsepower Kawasaki V-twin, so that's a two-cylinder. You can check that if you don't know, because it all have spark plugs on both sides. Um, PTO engagement, your lights. I don't think it'll do it, because I don't have the accessories on. Um, I don't have the key on me either right now, so. Your seat, which is a little faded, um, but I'll teach you. Here's another thing: when you're buying these, watch out. These are plastic hoods; they do crack. Mine's not very bad. I have some duct tape back here. It's pretty good. No big, no big deal for me. I'm not a deal breaker. Uh, a deal breaker, if I knew, would be the fact that it doesn't have this plastic that needs to be covering here reason why it needs to have that look what I did when I lifted up the hood not too noticeable looks pretty bad on camera but you can notice it now that I pointed it out I may be able to sand down some of the bumps and get a new grill if I really wanted to but right now right now I don't care but I do plan on getting the plastic and eventually a new seat just cuz why not um, controls for you this has the Hydrostatic transmission, uh, twin touch hydro is what they were calling it. Um, be careful, sometimes this rubber matting can get your pedals stuck, which is why we cut some of it away. Um, another thing is, is you can this has the tricycler, which I guess is just the mulch plug. I think I'm gonna take that sticker off because it's peeling. Power steering, this little lever here is tilt bring it all the way down for all you really tiny people who can handle this or like their legs spread out I guess I can't see how mowing like this is very comfortable truly so if you like mowing like this god bless you um I usually bring it all the way up I usually bring it all the way up and if I'm not mowing in the all the way up position I bring it one down just enough that it has slight tilt to it um there's no need for a crank knob on this i mean you can get it if you really like maneuvering but i mean you can you can drive this thing with two fingers for sure um then you have your choke now the choke was something i thought was interesting this is on the older models 
Um, the older models had it like this, otherwise it was separate. These lines are as far as this thing can go up, and that's choke. Turn it on, choke, bring it down, your full throttle, bring it down again, it doesn't really change because I, you know, adjustment, you know. Then you bring it down, it goes a little lower, 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 and then bring it all the way down to where it is now, and it'll kind of cut out for a second, this tractor anyway, and then come right back and then lower idle. Um, again, this is your lights, which you can see there. This is your PTO engagement. Down here is your cruise control. You push this in, get it going, pull up, locks it in, then you push it. I, I never use it. I don't even know like how. Yeah, something like that. Your parking brake, you push the big one in, parking brake on. If the parking brake's on, you can turn the key without pushing the pedal in. If your parking brake's off, you, can push, you have to push the pedal in to start it, um, which is pretty easy. Um, you don't really ever need to, I mean, the way these hydrostatics work is on this hill, um, if you're going down it and let go of the pedal, it'll stop. So it's like parking brake built in, in a sense, in a noob standpoint. Uh, I know that's not the technical definition, but just so you have a deeper understanding. Down here is your controls. This is your deck height. It has a knob, but the problem with the knob is that when you're using the knob, it spins around this, but it doesn't spin this. It's just the knob spinning. So you don't know if it slipped or if the cut height slipped. So I take it off so I make sure that this isn't turning around with it. When it's in the up position, like it is now, I believe, I believe it's in the up position. I'm not 100%. No, it's in the down position. Yep, it's in the down position. Um, so right now we're mowing at three and a half. When it's in the down position, it locks when you bring it up. So if I had it running and brought it up, it would just spin freely. So I can probably put the cap on now, but just so you're aware of that, if it looks like it's spinning around and isn't like there's nothing happening, it could just be the cap. Um, like I said, I need to do a little bit more polishing. There's some stuff rough on here. I mowed with it yesterday in the rain, so not in the rain, it was just wet. Um, but I'll recommend a polish to you guys. Oh, another thing is grease up these Mordex. Uh, and there's if the wheel has a grease surge, some of these yellow wheels do have grease. Zerks, the front one, the black, all black ones don't, which is just, must have been a replacement. I would imagine this one came with the yellow ones. Um, I haven't found other ones. I have to print a manual, I've been meaning to. There are some up here. And then the mower deck. I don't know if there's any more. There's probably some for those pedals. I, I haven't looked. Um, let me get the best stuff you can buy here though. this right here. I'm just going to hold it and you can read it. You can get it on Amazon. And it literally, that, that hood right here is absolute for sure exactly how my hood looked. And then when I was done, it's so much shinier. I need to do it again. If you want to read this, pause the video. I'm not holding it here forever. All right. And then once again, 